Hey everybody. Hi. <laughs> Hi everybody. I wanted to make this video today because actually it was inspired by a conversation I was having recently with another spiritual friend. Somehow we got on the topic of grounding and I feel like in spiritual circles grounding feels like such an unsexy topic. People are really understandably excited about trying to tune into the world of spirit and trying to like work with energy, subtle energies and all that jazz. And uh, you know, there's always in the background this chorus of people saying like, but grounding is important, grounding is important. And it feels like such a buzzkill if you're conceptualizing it in a certain way. And I was at an earlier point in my spiritual journey conceptualizing it in that buzzkill kind of way. I was thinking like, well, wouldn't my growth advance faster if I just focus more on like these, these other worldly things? Like, why do I have to be engaged in grounding? And what exactly does grounding mean? And that was the other issue that I had with the term grounding. I didn't entirely understand what it was about. I thought it meant like a time out from the fun stuff. But somehow I hit this turning point that really just completely changed the way that I saw it. And it was like this epiphany. And essentially what it amounted to was grounding is just about enjoying the privilege of being a spirit that is in a physical body right now. It's not about not having fun. It's actually about having quite a lot of fun. It's about really enjoying your physicality and making the most of the fact that you are incarnate. You are on this playground called Earth, you know, and, and therefore it can encompass a thousand things. It's not just that being in nature changes your vibe, it's that being in nature really connects you with the gift that is this physical world, or like feeding your body healthy stuff and doing exercise. Like that's not about discipline and punishment. That's about honoring the vessel that you've been given and doing what you can to really take care of it so you can maximize the adventure that your soul is here to have. The more you really step into your physical self, the more you are celebrating your physical being. That's extremely empowering because you are opening up to the potential that your soul was seeking when it came here to have this experience in the first place. So like, really, in order to get the most out of your earth experience, you have to lean into the earth part of the earth experience. What a concept! I guess I should also add it's really important in terms of empowerment. You are more empowered when you are present. You know, like when I was at the park with my friend the other day, I gave her this analogy like, okay, you know those doggy cams that people have that when they're away from their house, there's this camera showing them what their dog is doing. And they can also communicate with their dog through the doggy cam. So it's like, if you're not grounded, if you're always reaching for the spiritual world, uh, not that this world is not spiritual, this world that we're in right now is plenty spiritual, but it's like, if you're not grounded, it's akin to you're going on vacation and you're in this beautiful place and you could have all of these really fun, awesome experiences, but all you want to do is keep like opening up the doggy cam app on your phone and watching the doggy cam. Like you keep checking in to what's going on at home. You will go back home <laughs> eventually. You will find out what's happening there. And if something happening there is very important for you to know right now, it will make itself known. Believe me, spirit has like practically unlimited means for getting your attention when necessary. Don't spend your whole vacation watching the doggy cam. Spend your vacation having your vacation. Likewise, you know, if you think of the, I don't know, like, um, let's say past lives, a lot of people really want to tune in a lot and figure out what was happening in my past life. I've very much been there, especially because there was a time in my life when I felt hung up on my old karma. Like I could see how it was affecting me in the now and all I wanted to do was just dive into it and analyze it as hardcore as I could so I could be done with it and wash my hands and put it away. Um, but that's really not the point of being in these bodies right now either. 
that is akin to being on vacation and you're in this really amazing place and all you want to do is look at your photo albums from your previous vacations. Like, that's not being grounded. Being grounded is about being present. It is about a celebration of the here and the now. And yes, I completely understand. Sometimes the here and now does not feel remotely worth celebrating. But really, grounding is something sacred. Grounding is about just enjoying and showing your gratitude for and fully immersing yourself in the potential gifts of your current physical experience. That can really be anything that puts you more in touch with with your with your joy of being here and now essentially you could go for a hike you could go for a swim you could do some yoga um you could cook something really nutritious uh you could i don't know learn a new makeup trick like decorating your body maybe some people would say that's more of like the sacral chakra which is about life force energy and and attraction and so on but that's also your physical self. You are celebrating your physical self. Or a lot of things that millennials like to call adulting. You know, making doctor's appointments. That's how you're taking care of your physical body. Or you are, I don't know, creating a savings plan for, for your money. That's how you are giving yourself more stability. You're focusing on finding a home that is secure. That's another way that you are supporting yourself in this experience to have more peace and so on. All of this stuff is also part of grounding because it is the kind of stuff that, at least theoretically, allows us to maximize the experience that we're having here. These are not chores that have no purpose. These are actually acts of self-love. Grounding is also fundamental to self-love. There is so much healing in it. It's really important. A lot of people have this idea that self-love is some very nebulous concept and it's a feeling that you're supposed to cultivate. But the truth is, it's actually easier to arrive at that feeling if you go through the gestures first. Love is something that we do. It's not just something that we feel. So self-love begins with taking care of yourself or if not taking care of yourself, accepting yourself and accepting the needs that you have and then, you know, taking steps to take care of yourself. The possibilities are countless here. So if you are someone who gets really like frustrated and annoyed about the idea of grounding, I would just invite you to rethink it. I would invite you not to think of it as discipline and I don't know, like a wet blanket over your soul's experience, I would invite you to think of it as like honoring and celebrating the physical experience, the trip that your soul is currently having. You know, I just wanted to put this video out there to make people more excited about grounding. Like you don't want to spend your whole life here realizing that you didn't live it and you were trying always to be reaching back towards the other world where you are going eventually. Your soul came here for a reason, and one of those reasons is to enjoy it. So enjoy it. That is the essence of grounding, in my humble opinion, but I hope that this has been helpful for somebody, and yeah, I wish you a lot of happiness and peace. Okay, if you would like more stories, please like, please subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.